quickly walk through stable angina. Now, this we've discussed, so I'm going to go through this quickly. It's substernal chest pain that takes place when, please? During your exertion. Is that clear? Now, when there's exertion, understand this pa chest pain may then behave like the patient's having an MI. This may then radiate up into the neck, jaw, and so on and so forth. Only at exercise or exertion. Provoked by exertion. Relieved by rest. What do you want to do? Do not tell your patient to go away. You induce the stress with your patient. Let it be either physical or chemical. And when you do so, then you find a change in your ST. Now, for your exam, what you're looking for is the ST segment. Think about the ST segment. Close your eyes. It's isoelectric after your QRS complex. It's usually flat. When you induce a stress test in a patient who gives you a history of pain upon exertion, you'll have, you take your hand and you put it on that bar known as your ST isoelectric, and you pull it down. It's called an ST strain or an ST depression. Is that clear? Exertion. As simple as that. You put your patient on nitroglycerin. Why? You want to decrease your preload, right? How do you do that? Venodilation. Venodilation. Unstable angina. What about this? Major occlusion. By what? Atherosclerosis. Why is it that Prince Metal, well, we don't really even call that Prince Metal, so get away from that. We don't even really call it variant. The most appropriate name for Prince Metal, and which isn't here, is called vasospastic type of angina. Is that clear? And actually has nothing to do with atherosclerosis. Hence, we don't find it here. huh? But we move from stable angina into unstable angina. What are we headed? Crescendo. Uh-oh. Crescendo to whom? Myocardial infarction. Chest even at rest. And consider the MI precursor. I told you earlier, you're crescendoing towards an MI. So therefore, you might find a non-STEMI, which means an ST depression, but will you find a cardiac enzyme to be elevated in unstable angina? No, you will not. And we discussed that earlier. What is the gold standard cardiac enzyme? Troponin I, and I'll show you why. <laughs> unstable angina. Once again, the pain, exactly as to what you expect. Dyspnea at rest. Pain. Usually, pay attention, lasts about 30 minutes. Relief with rest or nitroglycerin, well, it depends on the occlusion. Hopefully, that'll take care of it. But remember, you want to become more and more aggressive, especially as you get into unstable angina. You start thinking about, well, what do I need to do to bust that clot, right? Okay, so let's take a look at the changes on EKG. That is very important for us to understand now. Let's begin at the top. Stable angina, we know our patient. Hey, doc, I have pain when? Upon exertion, the patient comes in, you do a EKG at rest. Are you going to find a change? Yes or no? No. Good. You induce stress. What then happens? You find ST changes. What kind? Take a look at V4, V5, and V6. You tell me where you are. V4, V5, V6. Medial side of the heart? Apical side of the heart? Or is it more lateral? I want you to focus on V5, V6, okay? V5, V6 will be out here by your armpit. Is that clear? Left side. That's the lateral side of the heart. What kind of coronary artery might you be thinking about? Please don't tell me right. <laughs> All right, this is your left circumflex, isn't it? All right, lateral side of the heart, and your most likely coronary artery to be affected there will be your left circumflex. I hope that is clear. What kind of change do you find here? You see that SD segment. Is it flat? No. Especially take a look at V5, V6. What do you see? You find an SD depression, don't you? So you find SD depression, especially with the stress test, and then you have, and with, what about cardiac enzymes? Elevated or normal? Normal. Good. Nice job. So SD segment depression, what you're seeing there? Inverted T wave. Serum cardiac enzymes, negative. Once again, you tell me, gold standard cardiac enzyme. Do I sound like a broken record yet? I hope so. <laughs> I'm actually doing that on purpose. Troponin I. Here it is once again in terms of what we just completed and we completed discussion of stable angina. We looked at unstable angina and uh, all that I've given you at this point is, is a simple, a few simple procedures that is going to help you distinguish one from the other. Stable angina, relief with rest. Unstable angina, pain at rest. Difference between unstable and myocardial infarction, negative cardiac enzymes with unstable angina. Good. Good.